Jenny Fitzmaurice here. Is anybody out there on Facebook land tonight? I know it's Wednesday night, but a lot of people are, are at church and not even on Facebook. So I'm just going to make a video and I'm just going to leave it right here. Hey, Sierra. Um, so anyway, uh, first thing that I want to mention is my friend Chrissy Davis that I have the honor of co-teaching with at our school. We teach math together. Um, she's been buying limelight from me for a while and she just decided that she wanted to become a beauty guide. Now she wasn't really gung ho on the idea of actually trying to sell the product, but she wanted a discount and she thought that, you know, maybe somebody in her family might want to buy it too and they might, you know, buy enough that would pay for her addiction of the makeup and skincare and stuff that she loves so much. <laughs> so in the past 43 days, um, out of nowhere, like I had to twist her arm to ask her to like share something on Facebook. She sold a thousand dollars worth of skincare and cosmetics in 43 days. Had she made it three days before, she would have hit one of our fast starts and got a bonus in Limelight where you get $100 in product credit and $50 in marketing material. I'm not even kidding. And it just, it was so exciting and, and so surprising. Um, usually when I get a new beauty guide sign up with me, I work with her, I have her marker calendar, I teach her different ways to share the product, help her um, figure out what samples to give out and everything. But Chrissy just took off on her own and, and boom, there she was. So she got a promotion. So big congratulations to Chrissy. I am so proud of you. I'm so excited for you. And um, I can't wait to see you start growing a team and get your next promotion to lead. Anyway, okay, so yeah, I was so proud. So that's another reason why I want to jump on here is our Big Beauty Mavens team just crossed over the $4 million mark this month. Not making it up. That's not like in a year. That's this month. And my team, Moxie Mavens, um, crossed over that $17,000 mark this team. $17,000 worth of skincare and cosmetics. It's, it's hard to even wrap your mind around that. I mean, I grew up really poor where we, you know, we're lucky if we got that green and pink mascara as teenagers. What's that stuff called? Hey, Angela. The, you know, the pink tube of mascara with the green lid on it. And that was like the thing. And then like we had these like little compacts we'd open up and it had this sponge in it. And that was like our foundation when we were teenagers and stuff. And so it was like, oh gosh, that's $4. I don't know if I can get that much money out of my babysitting money. So... It's, it's so weird to go from that to being part of a team that, and I'm from Arkansas, you guys. I'm in a little town in Arkansas. It sold $4 million worth of makeup in there. Hey, Haley, how are you? Okay, so I wanted to give a big shout out for Chrissy on that and just kind of update you guys on the, on the stats of that situation. November has been phenomenal. I mean, last November was great too, but this November has been even better. Of course, Limelight rolled out all those awesome holiday things. I think they had a lot more holiday gifts than we did last year, and so it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so some of you may be asking yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth it being in Limelight? Because eh, it's makeup, it's and lipstick or whatever um, and here's my favorite I'm too busy well I'm really busy too I'm a full-time teacher I'm a mother of three little kids one of them is regressing and potty training right now um, so yeah I'm pretty busy and you probably want to know why I did that when I'm a teacher okay so I took a couple notes I was glancing down at my little thing my little notes here but um, I grew up really poor and when you grow up really poor, you start to get really motivated on things you want. You know, when you're a little kid, you start fantasizing about having some of the other things that other people have, like uh, central air conditioning, food, nice clothes. You know, we had food, but, you know, sometimes cereal, it was just a little bit of cereal with some water because you can't afford the milk. So when you're a kid, those things really imprint on you and they they can fuel you to want to have a better life. They can make you really depressed where you can sit around and feel sorry for yourself and say, oh, my life sucks, woe is me, my life's gonna suck when I grow up. Or you can just make a decision, find an avenue and make a difference for yourself. And I, it took a lot of convincing, but I had several key people in my life when I was growing up into my young adulthood that did convince me that I was smart enough and I could put myself through college with the aid of some student loans and Pell Grants and stuff like that. I could work my way through college and get a college degree and have a better life. And it was extremely hard. 
Um, but after squishing down that little bitty voice that's whispering inside your ear, you're never going to make it. You're not smart enough. You're not good enough. I did it. And um, I got a college degree, even though things were hard. Um, I had a rough life. But anyway, um, I did it. I made it. And later on, I went back and got a master's degree. So now with that, I also, you know, got married. I have three kids. You guys get to see the pictures of the kids all the time. Noah, Evie, and Toby. And with that comes college debt and credit card debt and things like that. So things that, you know, once you get your college degree and you get out into a profession like teaching, you're not really supposed to talk about. Nobody's supposed to know that things are still hard because now everything's supposed to be easy. But there's still that looming school loans and different things like that. And um, so that made getting from point A to point B a little bit tight. And we were doing good. Uh, my husband became an entrepreneur. He decided to start his own business as a home inspector, and I'm really proud of him, and I'm happy to support him in that. But when you first start out your own business, it's kind of like this, and it can get a little rocky and, you know, like, oh, gosh, it's tight, but we can do it. But God forbid the car break down or somebody needs a root canal, you know, and then... Uh, the kids start getting bigger and they start wanting things that don't come from the dollar store shelf for Christmas. Um, like tablets and no, ask me for a cell phone. He's not getting one. Uh, but I know that's coming. I know that's coming. I'm a sixth grade teacher and there's all these kids with cell phones and I know it's coming. It's going to happen one day. And then before I know it, he's going to be 16 and want a car. He's going to want to go to college. And so, you know what? There's that added pressure. There's those things that you want to be able to provide for your kids. And, you know, working my way through college taught me something. When you want something really bad enough and you squish down that little bitty voice that tells you that you can't do it and you put your sight on it and you work your butt off and you make it happen, it changes something inside of you. It makes you start to believe that you can do those things. So when things started to get a little bit hard um, with the three kids, I started to want to provide a little bit more for them. And so... I got into the network marketing and you know I was with another makeup company before and I borrowed the money for that. I didn't exactly borrow it, I charged it on my credit card, but I didn't have the money to spend, but I did it anyway. And I, you know, I started working and making a little bit of money and it helped, but it was still, you know, Christmas two years ago was still pretty hard. Um, and then I ended up switching over to Limelight and things just started snowballing and changing. I hit so many fast starts that it happened so fast I didn't even understand what was going on. My paycheck quadrupled and it has helped so much. I, I can't even begin to tell you how much it helps. And some of you guys are thinking, well, yeah, but I can't do that because I'm not a teacher like you. I don't have those kind of tools. Um, but the wonderful thing about this kind of business, one of the things that makes it it's so amazing is you don't have to come from that kind of background in order to be able to do it. You don't have to have any kind of college education or anything like that. You can start out wherever you're at and you're surrounded by all these positive and encouraging people that start to train you and give you those tools and educate you on those things that you need in order to become more successful in your career. So I've been nothing but really, really impressed and I've started to think a little bit bigger and my team has started to grow and I'm so proud of them and it makes me so happy you know, I, I love helping them, and I know that may sound a little hokey and everything, but that's one of the reasons why I wanted to be a teacher is because I like helping people. It makes me feel really good to help people. And it's one of the reasons why I switched my master's degree over. I was just focusing on special ed, and I switched it over to curriculum coordination because I had the opportunity to mentor a new teacher. And I got to go watch her and observe and sit down with her and talk about one-on-one -on -one about her strengths and her weaknesses and areas of improvement. And it made me feel so good to be able to help another grown woman achieve her goals and get to where she wants to go. It, it gave me this joy and happiness that I literally changed my master's degree in the middle of my master's program. And... Um, which I got, by the way, while I was pregnant with a preschooler, a little kid, and working full-time as a special ed teacher um, to curriculum coordination. And the reason why I did that is a curriculum coordinator is somebody that gets out there and it helps other teachers with tools. It helps to give them tools so that they can um, be more effective with the kids, so they can have more fun teaching, so the kids enjoy the environment more. There's so many different things. It just 
it made me feel so excited to help somebody else. And so that's something that got to come back. You know, I haven't mentored another teacher in a while. Um, as a matter of fact, I kind of took a step down off what I felt like was my leadership role at my last school when I switched over to this school system. You know, when you first get into a new school system or any kind of new job, you guys, you're totally the low man on the totem pole unless you're like a doctor or a lawyer walking in there and owning the place. So I felt like the low man on the totem pole. And I, you know, I wasn't getting that fulfillment anymore of helping these other people. And so that's something with Limelight that provides me is I get to help other people. And when you help those other people that you're blessed, you get blessed by helping others. And um, it's not in limelight, you don't get blessed by giving them money, it's teaching them that hard work pays off, it's empowering them to believe that they can do something, it's teaching them that there's an opportunity here. So it's all those things that make my heart feel so good. And to really start opening my eyes. And I have to give credit to my friend, uh, Christina. She taught me a lot of this. She's one of the main reasons that I got into this because I, you know, once I got my teaching degree, I was like, I'm not gonna even touch network marketing because uh, yeah, I don't have time for that. Um, but what I found was I do have time for it because I work it around my life. As a matter of fact, I never have to pay a babysitter to come watch my kids so I can go do any of it. I just literally work it around my day job and my home life. And watching Christina the past two years who has gone from nothing to becoming a seven figure earner this month has been nothing short of amazing. Now, I almost have a hard time saying that out loud to my friends and family and my network that watches me on Facebook because I feel like you're like, okay, you're from becoming a millionaire. Click next. I am so not gonna listen to that because it's so far unattainable that you can't even fathom it. But can you fathom making the decision to change your life in just a little bit so that way you have a little bit of extra spending money when you go to the grocery store. That way you can afford to buy as much healthy fruits and vegetables that you want. You know, I watch all these documentaries all the time on people trying to lose weight. And um, one of the main things people complain about is they can't afford healthy food. And I know what's that like. I, I totally know what that is like. I know how it is way easier to buy macaroni and cheese and hot dogs to feed your family. Um, I've seen what that's like as a kid. I've seen what that's like on the other end as a parent. It is way easier um, and cheaper to buy the cheap food. But what does that lead us to? That lead us, leads us to obesity, diabetes, all kinds of stuff like that. So when you're a parent and you have the financial means to go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of really healthy food for your family, it is so empowering and makes you feel so good. And when I first started getting back into network marketing and when I came over with Limelight, that's when it started to make a big difference and I was able to buy more food and it made it a whole lot easier to get from point A to point B. And then I decided to take the leap and use my paycheck to go out and buy a new vehicle because ours kept breaking down. And it's still out there. I'm still able to make the payment every month. I'm able to make that and more. I'm really excited about the fact that we're gonna get to have a good Christmas. And I'm not telling you guys this to brag on it. I'm not telling you guys this to be braggy braggy look at me or anything, but I want you to know that these kinds of businesses and network marketing can go out there and start changing people's lives. I'm seeing it change my life in a big way and some other people's lives in a big way. And it's a really, really great opportunity. And I'm so proud to be a part of it. And I'm proud to help those women on my team reach their goals. And it makes me so happy and I'm loving it. And I'm going to get off my soapbox here tonight, but I just wanted to put that out here. And just hope you guys have a great night. If you have any questions, shoot me a message.